I'm just trying to order some food, y'all. And this half up in here trying to school me on some food. I like meat too, but you gotta get healthy. You have high cholesterol, man. I know. What I'm you dying. What are you talking about? You're dying over there. I'm dying, y'all. Organic people watch my channel know all about organic. You want a flat stomach? Go organic. She lying, y'all. She don't eat organic. I ain't never lie. Get your Canon X810. If y'all want to get a, a vlogging camera, because that camera, that camera's badass. Yeah, it's a lot easier than using a DSLR like I use. Yeah. Look at this bum right here. I'm a bum. High cholesterol. Over here, starving. So what happens when you starve yourself, when you wait to eat, you end up overeating, having way too many calories, and then you crave high fatty, high sodium. <laughs> That's going to be my hardest vice, to stay away from the processed foods, I think. Once um, you do, you will never want to really eat them again, because they really don't taste as good. Once you have, like, it's all about fresh food. Good, People think know. organic is bad, but all that means is the food is always fresh. It hasn't been pumped up with hormones to make right. them abnormally large. And it loses its flavor the more they mess with it. So when you have it whole foods, like, it tastes the way it's supposed to. Beef takes 48 hours to digest. A lot of people don't know that. It's a lot harder on your intestines, especially for men. You don't want How long does it take for chicken to digest? Oh, that digests quickly. That only takes like a few hours. I mean, well, it depends though if, if you gotta drink a lot of liquids. And you don't wanna overeat. You're supposed to eat until you're not hungry anymore, not until you're full. If you're full, that means you ate too much. She's about to start fitness vlogs, y'all. Everyone wants me to do food things, but my kitchen's in China. I'm gonna have to come over here and do cooking videos. Cook in, cook in my kitchen. That's a good idea. You want me to cook in this kitchen, everybody? Yeah, just cook, just cook in my kitchen. I ain't never using it. Sexual. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's sexual. Oh, sexual nights. That's the what? cologne. We see what it smells like. I put that on. You know what? It's not uh, too bad. I do one squirt and then the girls are like, oh. Oh, really? Hey, I'm going to do the workout today, y'all, in the living room. I do a lower body exercise that I'm going to have to put Sean's ass to work today. You don't mind doing lower body exercise? I don't mind. See? I'm not doing that for people. You know, it's all it's for, for people. It's 10, 12 and a half, 15, and you're basically going to come straight out in front of you here. You hold it for one, two, three, four, five, and you come out here right here. You hold it for five seconds out the side, you hold it for five seconds out in front of you. I'm feeling it already. You can't tell because, but I'm shaking like a damn Christmas tree. If you got to go somewhere really fast, shit. If you got to go somewhere, I feel like I can fly. Fly away, fly away, fly away. Let's go with the obliques. I like those guys, I'm a fan of those. Because obliques complete the package. Complete the you package. don't have no obliques, you don't have a package. You don't have a package. We're going to take it side to side, baby. Let's go. Oh. Boom. Right Bring it down just about to the knee. Mm. To the knee. Make sure you get a really good stretch. The knee, side to side, y'all. Side to side, baby. We can make it even harder. Oh. Okay. This guy, we can go up top. Oh, rock the boat on him. Oh. Rock the boat, baby. Oh. Obliques. Done. I see this bucket I got right here. You don't have to lay down on the cold floor like me, but I'm a gangster, so that's what I do. And then you come up really hot. Boom. Bone in the ceiling. You're taking one leg like so, and we're chopping it up and down. Look, boom. This is my weak leg, too. Boom. <sighs> and, uh, <laughs> uh oh. Almost. Almost. I'm still working on that leg, y'all. Hamstring work. See, I'm on that hamstring that's really tight and it's locked. Working that hamstring. Woo! You really want to tighten them hamstrings up, especially all my ladies. So you got better hamstrings, you got a better ass. All right, a question of the day comes from Dal V11. What's up, Dal V11? I know that your top speed in the 100 and 200 meter dash comes from stride frequency and stride length. What muscles should I focus on to improve the power slash stride length? To focus on your stride frequency is less of a muscle and more of muscle memory. You want to go back to those basic drills that you used to learn. You know the drills that we hate so much and we try to skip through so fast? Because the drills are what's going to get the frequency proper and make you run correctly. Someone running properly can run much faster than someone trying to use all of their strength to run. The power portion, now that is muscle. Now a lot of people would say you just have to work on the muscles in your legs, which is not true. You have to use your entire body to push out of the blocks and to push yourself down the track from your upper to your lower body. So every muscle has to be strong, especially muscles like your core, especially muscles like your quads and your hamstrings because you need those to turn over when you're running a sprint. Well, yo, I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. She's going to say deuces for this episode. Deuces, everybody. Sire Beauty. Thanks for watching.